anybody awake at this hour? Ah, I see. At least one in the chat. Good morning. It was either this or work on the speech that I'm uh, preparing for uh, Dallas, Austin, and Houston next month. But it's a little early. Get those cognitive juices firing. Plus, you know, the speech is... It's a minefield. I'm struggling a little bit with it. You know, when you tackle a heavy topic, you... You know, you try to make it entertaining and engaging for the people who are watching. And that means that sometimes you're infusing a very, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just this thick minefield of, of text. And you are trying not to make people feel like they're being talked or preached at or, uh, or they're just, you know, being dragged down in, into this sort of heaviness. You want them to feel like that we're all taking the journey together. That's how I format my radio podcast. Because that's how I feel. We're all on the journey together. We all doing the best we can. Trying to figure out what hopefully in good faith what's true, what's right, what's best. And um And in you know, good faith is the word I like to use when it comes to dealing with things like this. You know, are you genuinely interested in finding solutions and listening and understanding the other person and, and trying to see the best if the best is there? Trying not to immediately assume the worst and, and just lose your mind. What the hell's in there and how do I get in there? And, um, and yet, you know, in the Twitterverse, Losing, losing your mind seems to be the default. And especially when you bring up any hot-button issue, and these are important issues. We talk about race, we talk about gender, we talk about human rights, we talk about all of these things, and you just, you, you begin the conversation. You just start talking. And immediately people have already decided what you're saying, and why you're wrong, and they're already mashing out the the indignant uh, protests into their comment sections, and uh, it's just it's a binary way of living life. And so, when dealing with an important, because I'm I'm a communicator, I want to be able to participate, perhaps use my abilities to communicate in a way that will. No, just help. And uh, yet it's, you know, I, I, I'm nervous. I get nervous talking about this heavy stuff. I'm doing a broadcast in a week and a half with Dr. Valerie Tarico that deals a little bit with how woke culture sometimes overreaches and causes us to, to act in almost religious ways. There are the righteous there are the sinners. And heaven forbid you have a past to sin. Heaven forbid you've made a mistake that you have not properly in their mind atoned for. Just fall over. Thank you. Well, they're very sorry for what they did. Well, they're not sorry enough. Yeah, they're sorry, but they didn't do this. Yeah, they're sorry, but they're the wrong color, the wrong gender, the wrong nationality. Yeah, they're sorry, but it's not, it'll never be enough. Forgiveness can never be awarded. Understanding is, yeah, doesn't serve us because we are the righteous and they are the sinners. And we immediately begin to write off people. This fellow human beings, we just write them off. It just makes me weary sometimes. I've just been weary the past few days. Fuck that guy. Fuck those people. Fuck everybody. Fuck them all. 
I always like to come back to this example of that white supremacist. Now, I know this is a bit of a cherry-picked, you know, it, this is not the norm. I mean, the guy had swastikas and shit all over his face. Tattoos. The symbols of hate actually imprinted permanently on his body. He hated black people. He's an awful human being. He's just awful. And, um... He was ultimately at a point in his life when he realized he was wrong and that hate was wrong. And he ended up going through 18 long months of having, in an excruciating process, having these Nazi tattoos removed from his face and his neck and his whole face. Every time he went in for a procedure, which is just, it's hard to describe in words without being gratuitous. It's, his face would just bubble out in blisters and he looked like he was a third degree burn victim and in many ways he kind of was and yet he endured he went through it because he, he didn't want to live with the symbols of hate on him I'm going to use that example in the speech so. because I, I think he's an example of somebody who in today's culture if you had shown his story to someone. They wouldn't accept him. They'd say, eh, once a Nazi, always a Nazi. People can't be talked out of hate. People can't really be reversed out of being bigoted or awful or whatever they are. No, no, no. They are, they are the other. They are the bad. They are the worst. God, what, what are we doing here if we're not out changing minds for the better? What am I doing as, a, as an atheist activist trying to help disabuse people of religious ideas that are damaging ideas if I don't think that people can change? And immediately, already, there's somebody mashing in a keyboard. What about so-and-so? What about so-and-so? Well, what about this person? Well, fuck those people. They're just losing their minds. You know, they are automatically going to go to the extreme example. They're going to go to the person that They've cherry-picked as the example of someone who cannot and or should not be reached. They're just not listening. They're not remotely interested in listening charitably and trying to, to see a, a bigger picture for them. You know, it's, it's in-group, out-group. It's the righteous and the sinner. Well, are you saying that you, we should just hold hands and sing Kumbaya with Nazis? Did I say that? Did I remotely say that? You're saying that we should just sit around and do nothing? Did I say do nothing? Did I say be silent about the things that matter? Did I say opt out of the conversation? Did I say that? No. And that's the challenge. I need to go the uh, reverse direction here. But that's what it's like talking to many of these people. I wish there was more compassion, especially on the internet. And they say, I'm not going to be compassionate to a Nazi. <laughs> like, am, am, I, am I talking about Nazis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking about, I'm just talking about every day. I'm, I'm amazed at the stuff I will post on my own page. Just relatively innocuous stuff with maybe one hot button word in it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's something anybody can pick up on. No, 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 you don't see me. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. She gonna eat me. Oh, I can get free? Run, forest. Run, forest. Run. Is this my door? Open the damn door. Open the damn door. About time. About time. I hope I can still catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Oh 
never convince me that I should play nice with the worst people in the world. Did I say anything about playing nice? Talking about charitable listening. Because not everybody that we disagree with on this planet is the worst person in the world, and yet we often treat them in that way. I just want to reintroduce a little humanity to some of these conversations. And where in the world do we ever get this idea that we have to agree to be able to be in the same room together? God, my parents feel that way. I mean, to a degree, they feel that way. To truly accept you, to truly be able to enjoy our time. And, well, we have to feel the same, be the same, do the same, think the same. Excuse me. Hang on just. How in the world do the best ideas win? Excuse me, I had to sneeze. If um if we're not talking about the best ideas and with an audience or of the worst ideas. I've had people, they put these little purity tests together. Would you ever take the stage with so-and-so on the schedule? This is not where a nuanced answer will satisfy some people. What's the context? Where are we, what are we doing? What, who's the audience? What are, would I ever take the stage next to somebody else who had a horrible idea? I might. If I got a chance to promote a better one. Huh. Voices. Would I ever be in the same room with person X if person X was genuinely awful? I, I don't know, I might. Anyway. Kind of a heavy speech to tackle Hoffman, at six in the morning. Hoffman, stand back! No! He doesn't know what he's doing! Excuse me? Liam! Don't! Liam? What do you mean, Liam? Stand back! Liam, so far, is the most interesting character in the game. I like Liam. He's wearing a planet terror mask. Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. It's I the way of the hide. new world. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Okay, am I supposed to take him out? Oh, shit. Fair as that, he's got a flamethrower. I am awfully impervious to burns without any protective layer. And I'm awfully slow at getting away from the flamethrower. Okay, hang on. Medicines for the sick. Reloading my weapon, walking directly into the pillar of fire. How many, many bosses are there in this game? Jesus. Okay, let's see. Medical syringe. Reload your weapon. Oh! Oh! Water! Never mind. If somebody said, look, there's a free speech event happening at location Y. Who wants to talk? Or there's a human rights event or a This is America, this is what America should be event. Hoffman, 
On stage, we have person X, Y, Z, and X, person X, a white supremacist. And I had the chance to go up after this person or before this person and and count and present the better example. Yeah, we won't. But I failed a purity test, you see. Because why would you ever stand on stage next to person X? You won't get out of here. Nice. He commands that I take care of you. Evil dead voice of death. Either die or change like me. Why have you disturbed our slumber? Let the flame consume you. Does it feel to be the weak one now? Getting too hot in here. Gotta put the flames Gotta put out. The flames out. With my special action hero voice. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Shit! How long? How what kind of range does that thing have? No. this conversation about platforming who deserves a platform and I, I really just I just come back to Christopher Hitchens you know and he's like who in the world would you appoint to decide what you get to hear you gonna you gonna allow somebody else to decide to be your filter to decide what words get to be said of course free speech laws and protections don't exist for the speech we already like they exist for the speech that we hate. You know. Stop running. I'm a weak boy. Get hot to be a wild. Got to put the flames out. I can't decide if the voice effect is cool or it's just a bad use of a W audition. Did some stuff like that for the Ghost Stories audiobook. Reload. Jesus. Get me out of here. Oh. Yes. He won't bother us anymore. I'm not saying you stand on stage with the purpose of trying to necessarily change somebody's mind on stage. I'm not talking about, I mean, that's more of a one-on-one. -on -one. It's more of a, um, but you know, you, you see examples of people engaging other people to help break down barriers and to try to change minds, improve ideas, improve perceptions. And I'm all about that whenever possible. And yet, there are so many people who just want to throw hand grenades over the freaking wall, usually on the internet, which makes them feel like a badass somehow. And I just, I'm weary of it. I think many people are weary of it. Don't you feel that? And I'm running the wrong 
wrong direction. Get too hot in here. Army. Gotta put the flames out. Does that do something to him? I'm just standing in the fire. Just standing in the fire. Just I'll just stand here and take it. Because that's what heroes do. Pain is in the mind. And uh, the nervous system and the skin and the vessels and the bones. And brain actually. You've got to... says I will focus. use. I will shoot the concrete wall instead of my enemy because I am a dumbass. How did I make him freeze earlier? Do you remember? You won't get out of here. He commands that I take care of you. You can either die or change like me. Like, why can't I shoot the, uh, Getting serious. That's it. I'm done playing with you. Why would you take off the mask? Okay, let me get back here and medicate. Okay. I wish to go to the towns to receive medicines. So How many bullets do I have? I guess seven. That's not many. My kingdom for a sniper rifle. What else do I have? No. Let's try this. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. Who's his master? Give in, Sebastian! Listen to him! He'll change your mind like he did mine! Where are you? Why is there still fire? I don't think those are liquid nitrogen tanks on the wall. Oh, fuck. I think uh, those are... Uh, weren't those uh, bodies? Weren't there 
beasties in case. I told him. Once you give in, all the confusion and guilt will go away. Let the flames consume you. I just gave him four barrels to the chest. And he's still walking around like it's summer camp. Someone explain this to me. Shit. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. One of these has to take him out. Run, baby. I require some health. That is liquid nitrogen. Okay. And I will walk into the flames. I won't go down easy. Soldier and his army. Oh, all right. All right, you're right. Yes, Father. He won't bother us anymore. You're correct. Forgive me for doubting you. Let's shoot the nitrogen on the wall. A lot of mini boss battles in this game. I can't decide how I feel about that. Just listen. Listen. His voice will tell you follow him and be free. Be free of the pain. Okay, where is the tank? Is back here? I must be cleansed, he says. You won't get out of here. Getting too hot in here. Gotta put the flames out. Okay, alright, alright. Like me. Hmm. Wrong weapon. Where the hell is he? Sorry, that's my fault. That's my fault. I have the reflexes of a three-toed sloth, and that's part of our problem here. Shooting the tank does nothing. You'll never escape me. I will hide behind this curtain. Ah, so the nitrogen is why he froze earlier. Okay. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. A slow learner is still a learner, you know. Okay, where is he?
What's the melting point of glass? Zone, wouldn't it? If I can get him to come down this hall. I'm sorry, Austin. I won't let him get away. I promise. Come out, come out, wherever you are. down my conduit to pain. Feel the lead. Experience the pain. Okay, maybe not. Little flames consume you, blah 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 blah. Oh Stop no, I'm me. standing behind a curtain. You can't touch me. <laughs> I'm not planning to get away. I promise. Which way is it coming? God damn it. I was shooting for the tank. That's it! I'm done playing with you! Stay, where, where's the tank? Oh, shit. Rain Man, burn baby. Theodore, I told him. No, I tried shooting the tank on his back, but the laws of physics did not kick in. Pressure on the air. I'm sorry, Master. He I will offered find you him. freedom. And you turned it away? For what? Who is this actor? Um, I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. You must be cleansed. Edison, tell me I've got more. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. Reload the weapon. Several IQ points from your oh, from your you hero. Bullets. All right. All right. You come right here. We're gonna shoot the thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got nothing. You got nothing. I won't go down easy. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? He burned it. It went away. Okay, let's see if we can catch him. Here. How does it feel to be the weak one now? Right in the gut. Right in the gut, and oh, he yes, still walks. I told him. Damn it. You don't deserve to be a disciple. Sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm inadequate to this task. I am not a worthy hero. I have been weighed. I have been measured. And I have been found wanted. You think you're too good to fight me? Getting too hot in here. Gotta put the flames out. down God easy. damn it. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Darth Vader breathing going on. Do you hear that? You or maybe that's me. Why have you disturbed our slumber? Or change like me. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit those tanks a little sooner. I'm sorry, Master. I won't let him get away. I promise. Satisfying. Yeah, you know that's right. Yeah, you know that's right. That's it. I'm done playing with you. I'm not. I don't know if a hazmat suit would help me against gunfire and flamethrowers. I don't know. You must be cleansed. You uh, underestimated me before. Never again. You'll never escape me. As I escaped you.
I won't let him get away. I promise. Guilt will go away. Let the flames consume you. Takes a while to reload, doesn't it? God. Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Going to bad voice Stop acting running. hell, the man is. All right, I'm going to lead him back here. And then we're going to kind of double back and see if we can get that tank. Come on, baby. Walk the corner. Walk the corner. Yeah. Damn you, Sebastian. Damn you, Sebastian. No ammo. Oh, look, ammo. Thank you. I'm yeah. weak more, Sebastian. I won't go down easy. Yeah. How does it feel Shit. to be the weak one now? I'm sorry. I won't let him get away. I promise. Damn it. All right, hold on. I need to toke up here. Is he getting faster? like the captions for dying characters like Oog, Og. Now some exposition, because it's been, you know, 10 minutes. Voldemort. Thank you, S Sebastian. Finally, free from his voice. my fears I was so scared our hero looks upon the victim with compassion the music plays you've got to stop him I can't stop him it's if breath waning find him O'Neill he earnestly looks up he face shifted and says I may be he's free he's not here but the world is doomed not anywhere unless you have John's got a great question. Where door. was my partner during this firefight? Right? You've got to destroy I could have been the bait. I could have led this what creature machine? on a merry chase, and she could have just picked him off. He made me build it. She went out to Starbucks. To hide him. There's no excuse for that. God, I can't destroy watch anymore of this. So you guys want me to continue watching to endure? So or should I move on? Destroy him. John's right. Tell your sister. Was anybody else disappointed when they finally revealed Anakin Skywalker at the end of Return of the Jedi? What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that God. thing? God. I don't know. When Liam I've been locked in my safe him, house so while relieved. you've been on a merry Liam. chase. I tried so to get screw you, you. Poor guy. You didn't have a chance. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine. I think it's on the other side. Take a look at this machine. I'll follow you. A broken flamethrower. Flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. You? 
if I found the right parts. Am I following her? Okay. Search the back room. So now I have to uh, get out of here. Anyway, back to Return of the Jedi. I remember, what was this, 1983? I'm in the theater. And of course, you know, whatever they reveal is not going to be satisfying uh, relative to what we had been expecting. I mean, there is no way that, I, I think there's no way that Anakin Skywalker would have been. So he should, uh, he shouldn't, his face should never have been fully shown. But whenever all of a sudden, you know, they're lying down and he's like, help me take off this mask. Mark of influence. Theodore sticking his fingers. Luke in reaches down face. and takes off the it's mask. It's like a form of communication and with him. And we in the audience are supposed to believe that Luke's father is, in fact, a baked potato. Lots of weird stuff in here. Looks like he was building something. Maybe that machine he was talking about. Uh, Ed, this is a live stream, pal. You're you're live. You're nationwide. This is not a pre-recording. You're getting the full enchilada, pal. I was so disappointed when they pulled his mask off, you know, because you're thinking this is the most badass villain in the universe. And then they take his mask off, and it's like, make sure and wrap it in foil before you put it in the oven. Darth Tater, thank you, Jordan. He was the most innocuous, not villainous. And don't tell me that he was because he was now a hero. I, I don't buy that. Of course, he was redeemed. The whole st st character is about redemption. But he was just this sort of round, blue egg on a body. How freaky must that have been for Ed just now, thinking he was watching a recording and then I addressed him by name. Ed, this is God. I want you to build me an ark. And it will be filled with animals that will travel to you, two by two. Bunnies and velociraptors. Anacondas, fruit bats, camels and penguins. And yay, oh yay. I will send the rains because it's just too easy to annihilate everybody. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, they piss me off, but just annihilating, just causing them to vaporize, I mean, that's just, that's lame-ass stuff, don't you think? No, instead, I would like to put together an elaborate Rube Goldberg mechanism, which requires you to build a stadium-sized boat, and then all of the creatures will come to you. They will come to you, and they will... Did you see the uh, Darren Aronofsky film, Noah, with Russell Crowe, which I actually thought was pretty good. I think it's how you do mythology. And there were some people in uh, here in Oklahoma, they were pissed because, he, uh, you know, they had the rock creatures and all this shit that wasn't in the book of uh, Genesis. And and they're like, this is, this is atrocious. This is, this is an affront. This is an affront to the actual uh, story, the true story of Noah. And I'm like, you got to be shitting me. You're upset because the story about animals walking, penguins walking out of the Arctic to board the boat in the desert, captained by a 500-year-old dude because God couldn't see the fact that his plan was a fuck-up. <laughs> you're telling me that you're upset that that story was not accurately told <laughs> and th that the director put rock people... <laughs> It's awesome. Sorry. 
he has desecrated the story of talking animals voices in your head why are these things all grayed out I don't know oh I see brawler melee attack firing stance I'd rather have the firing stance I think. stealth I need some of that Ambush, perform sneak kills, move faster when crouched. Okay. They were genuinely upset that Darren Aronofsky had had uh, tampered with this amazing story, this true story of Noah's Ark. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> like you, you people are hysterical. Oh. And it's not a bad film. Uh, then there's this subplot. I'm not giving anything away where Noah kind of goes rogue. And, you know, he didn't go any more rogue than he went in the book of Genesis, you know, and he was found naked and drunk. God's worthy man. Naked and drunk. I'm going to save again real quick. But as mythologies go... I mean, I keep hearing all the time about how the Bible is the greatest book ever written. It's the greatest book ever written, which what they're trying to tell, they're selling that with. It's the most popular book, the most printed book. Okay. But, can I make a flamethrower? Um, does popularity automatically become the equivalent of quality? And I would say no. Uh, Twilight films, uh, Twilight books and films being a great example of popularity, not necessarily being a, 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 no, I didn't read the books, but I did get dragged to one of the movies, and if there is a hell oh my god it was terrible <laughs> uh, vampire films have become so trite anyway they've just become so trite you know, all this pouting and posing by these sort of gaunt looking pretty people and I'm sorry the vampire glitters glitters so you know Theodore Wallace of course and I got so nothing against you. Kristen Stewart well, you know good for her then? but the truth is she does nothing for this? me and in the film it was like watching you don't know about it. a piece of furniture himself you acting. saw what he did to O'Neill he'll do that to everybody in here if he has to He'll tear this place apart to get his hands on her. But I mean, I if you think about the Bible's happen. mythology, it's really, I mean, the Bible's not a well-written book. It's 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 got its moments where inter it's interesting, right? and it has a few iconic tales it? in it. You know, the flood is kind of an iconic tale, I guess. I'm not totally sure, but it, it looks a hell of a lot like a stable, stable field matter. matter. Whatever it is. This is right out of the 1950s sci-fi movies. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Call in the airstrike. Yeah, I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough Jesus of yours? Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna watch Good. this. Got it. Another cutscene. Please don't be another cutscene. I mean, the Bible stories, I mean, even as a creation myth, it's just not that. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. I need you to clarify if you didn't seem surprised. Why should I be? Everybody more like I like one. God, Esmeralda stop Tam talking. You didn't seem. Why should I be? Everybody knows every more like. like Sorry, that's my fault. Your damn. Next conversation tree. The next branch in the tree. I assume I do. How could she? How could, how could she tell world, Lily it was this and yeah, lost in the ether and the upside down? And then we have to come here to the I've nether world and the matrix reality. to do if this and that. that. It's just so. Well, I'm a, I don't know. Dramatic. I don't know if you should be in here. When I don't think I, I want to go. Okay. No telling. We'll do. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean Jordan, Egyptian mythology. Or mythologies have so much more to offer us than the biblical ones, or than the uh, the Abrahamic ones. 
Okay, I guess I have to go somewhere else. Okay. Talk to Esmeralda when ready to arm the explosives. Who's Esmeralda? I need you to clarify a few things no. for me, Hoffman. No, no, no. Tell me something, Torres. Oh, Jesus. So you knew Hoffman before this? Every can she be? I might have just. Yeah, I have. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I wish I you're right, John. I wish we could just sort of scroll really through long. conversations like this, so like when I'm your just... mother calls, you know, and you actually put the phone on speaker no and then sit it on the countertop. Like, I used to do this years ago when we were speaking. I still... You just... Is that enough to take care of this thing? All right, here we go. Like ten times over, and it's ready to go when you are. Let's do it. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. That sounds naughty. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three. We're going to stand two, in the room. One. Oh my god, we're just dead by stupid. <coughs> 15 feet Are you away okay, from a shrapnel machine Torres where'd you Sebastian Castellanos God more bad voice acting you refuse to step into the darkness so you try to bring me to the light who wrote this stuff your rash decisions have always been your downfall who wrote this stuff come then I await you Okay, so a big fiery Christmas tree just told me that he you waits. Will find your beloved daughter. Go there. See if it's everything you dreamt of. I'm over here, Dad. Hurry. I'm over here, Dad. Oh God, Lily, you're here. Am I that stupid? Am I that stupid? I will set a trap for you that will result in your demise. Flash to black. I hear my daughter's voice who says, come hither, father. And I go. I don't deserve to live. I'm over here, dad. I'm over here, dad. I do like the environment. That's cool. Feel bad for the poor bastard. I had to go light all these candles. Can I not pick up my harpoon? Someone is very agitated. I'm not even sure I like the zombie sounds. Oh, shit. I'm trying to decide what those are. Not the boils, but what is that? That little thing that's pulsating with the stumpy thingy. Sorry. Oh, shit. I actually ducked. <laughs> you ever do that? It's like driving under a bridge. You drive under a bridge and you actually find yourself sticking your... Just saying. I just did that. Up. Uh, it's, you know, they don't exactly, I mean, consistency, right? Uh, like, 
some some of these guys have axes. We ship me. Hmm, how do I get in there? Look, I don't mean to be crude or crass, but some of these sort of angsty zombie sounds do sound a little bit like undead ecstasy, do they not? Yeah, I think I like the evil within much more than I like the evil within two. One was just, I don't know, it had a better interface. It, it, there was much less exposition. There was much less of this sort of bloviating from the protagonists. And, uh, and I think the storyline was just a little bit better. John, what wheel? Do you see a wheel? front of me. Well, of course I didn't see it. Axe? My axe is full. E to operate. like our direction does not make a film game environments do not make a game um, I'll finish this game because honestly it's kind of fun to bitch about it and there are some fun action sequences in it but it's not exactly Resident Evil 7 or Alien Isolation so I give this a I give it a C a scale of one to five stars maybe I'll give it a oh fuck I'll give it three stars and a fat pimple man. Where'd he go? Okay, so, uh... Need to toke up. Oh, I don't have any more help. Oh, that sucks. So this becomes a cost-benefit discussion, right? You see these glowy thingies up here, and you're like, hey, shit, I really need some stuff. Is that a chair? Oh, this 
looks important. Mom never gave up. Not like you. You bastard. She tried to tell you. Little children are scary, you aren't they? Too stupid to listen. No. No. No, this isn't right. Talking. You refused to listen. You lost them both, and then became lost yourself. You know anything about me? I'm gonna turn the gun on myself. I understood that goals can be achieved by submission, by joining. Map data unavailable. Wait. Use the communicator to find where Lily's voice is coming from. Okay, I have not much in the way of health. And so, you know, the gnat lands on me, then I'm screwed. What the? This is where my greed for resources might become a problem, so I think I'm just going to go up here to the altar, or the gravestone. Where are you, Lily? So these are like oil derricks for blood, churning up the blood of the earth. Literally, blood of the earth. That's kind of a nice touch. See, I mean, honestly, the game itself has a lot of points of redemption. But is there any way to go in and sort of smooth over the rough seams, man? Who lit these candles? Right? Who lit those candles? Oh, fuck. Agile, little son of a bitch. Just need to lay down. Shotgun. of the game may be greater, in fact, than the whole. Pieces are greater than the sum.
That's really a... That's very slick. Disney Magic Castle. I, I need to find her. So that's the vibe I'm getting. Fine. Then come to me. Lily? That's a cool is it really vibe. you? Shit, this is a boss battle if I ever saw one. Precious daughter, isn't this what you wanted? Dad, you let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No, please. I, I couldn't. I wanted to. Something? You are doomed to repeat the mistakes of the past, uh, unless you join me. Do that, and I can make your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. No. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? No, I will never learn. Shot me, Sebastian. In the Why? gut. No, no. Sebastian's a dumbass. He is a dumbass. God, it's like what? Come on, man. Get you out of here. All this with a gut one? Oh, we're gonna have to watch Sarah get eaten. You can't let him get to you. Why is she not pissed? You gotta. I'd be you pissed. You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. I'd I'd be. Sebastian? Sebastian? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are, you all right? Are you all right? I just shot the only competent hard. player in the whole it's goddamn game. Delirious. That's what's wrong. Yes. <sighs> Myra? <sighs> well, I mean, I think you can live a long time on it with a stomach wound. Taurus. A long time. But it's hugely We're... painful. Like, she'd be completely uh, debilitated. I'm home. And she'd How be did pissed. I... You'd not be pissed. Someone shot you in the stomach. 
Rick Sebastian, that is so unnecessary. After all the things I've done for you, I led you through the wilderness. I showed you the hideout under the red flag, gave you back up, and now you shoot, you shoot me in the stomach because you can't understand the difference between a protagonist and an antagonist. <sighs> you know what? Just give me the gun. Give me the gun. No, you didn't. No, you'll get it back. You'll get it back whenever you learn how to use it properly. That's what. I need a safe place, people. I thought we were friends, and all of a sudden you just unload right there. Terrible. But wasn't she wearing a vest? I thought she was wearing some sort of a some sort of a Kevlar getup. Lily's realm. Just the way, just it, the used way it used to be. Because she was the way I wish it had stayed. Apparently, you had a credit card for a local craft store. I see. Little blocks. No, there's not an iPad in here. No. no. It's not an iPad. Wooden blocks. That's what she's got. Okay, I'm going to hit a save point whenever I find it, and we're uh, probably going to call it a morning. I'm going to go and socialize with my people. i got family here, not my family. <laughs> Natalie's got some family in town. And uh, Lily's drawings. God, I hope she still has some of that innocence after all this. Innocent. Dad looks terrifying in that image. Jesus. <laughs> it's terrifying. The mysterious symbol. You feel like you've seen this before, but you can't quite put your finger on when or where that was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. And I have obtained Mysterious Symbol. I buried myself in work so hard. I should have been a better father. If I could only father. get some of that time back, I'd spend it with them. I like these long, these pregnant pauses between phrases. For dramatic effect, you know, it's like a Captain Kirk kind of a thing. It's like, if only I spend more time with Lily. If only I could have those years back. Yeah. Same. Lily? Stop chasing this kid. She's going to jack your life straight up. This house has a save spot. Mm, somebody had a party. That letter. Myra's last communication. It was hidden with her files. My Shatner. I can't do impress impressions, really. Never have been able to do them. I've always wanted to be able to do them. I can't do accents. I can't do any of these things. Available. My objective is to search the house. Like I've always been able to use my voice to tell stories and to take people on those kind of journeys. I've got uh, one such broadcast scheduled, I think, for the 11th or 18th Myra. of March. I have to look for it. What an incredible the woman. She um, really could do it all. No wonder she was able to infiltrate Mobius. Once she set her mind to something, she wouldn't stop. But, uh, not like me. You know, it's funny. It's like I play the keyboard not well, but I play to relax. I play because I enjoy it. But I like, am I satisfied with that? No, I've always wanted to play the guitar. Always wanted to be able to play the acoustic guitar. You know, so I guess it doesn't really matter what you're able to do or not do. There's always one other thing that you think, oh, if only. 
Okay, I've searched the house. What am I missing? No, I can't do Christopher Walken. I can't I can't even do the easy ones, you know, the Jack Nicholsons and all that stuff. I can't do those. Can I open the fridge? You know, there's a human head in there. Can I search the outside of the house? I miss a room upstairs? I took guitar lessons, acoustic guitar lessons for three months and I just never improved. And of course, you know, the instructors were always so very encouraging. Oh, you have to, you know, you'll be terrible for a while. You have to get, push through that. I have to go back upstairs. There's something upstairs I missed. I can't get out. Righteousness in the face of evil. Will you not inform your humble servant as to what it is you require of me? I love listening to the acoustic guitar. I've been looking for a good acoustic guitar on uh, like Pandora, like a channel for it. The problem is, is that. Instead of just like a soft, relaxing acoustic guitar, quite often it turns into this kind of wild flamenco thing that I, it's not really what I want. Informed that an apologist, a local apologist, wants to speak with me about potentially doing his show or coming on my show. Now, I don't do a lot of that, but I have been told that this person is a genuinely good person and sincere person who wants to, I mean, I'd be kidding myself if this person, I didn't think this person wanted to, number one, win, and two, uh, convert me, or at least influence me for the cause of righteousness. All right, I'm starting to get pissed off. Search the house. I will pay a thousand, what's a fictitious currency? Simoleons, chits, credits, to the person who tells me informs me how to get the fuck out of this house. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to get out of my house. I didn't I want to get out of my house. I want to go downstairs and have my coffee. I've been looking for, you know, I've been branching out a little bit on the broadcast here in this year because after almost... This will be my ninth year of doing the radio podcast. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm keeping it fresh for you as best I can. I am going to go back and redo some of the old, some old topics for people. A lot of people are not going to go 300 shows back in an archive. Um, and, you know, some of that stuff I think is ripe to cover again. But, you know, I've been doing more storytelling and we're dealing more with, uh, with social issues like what I was speaking about at the top of this particular stream, you know, how do we engage the world? How do we change minds if we're not going to actually engage with human beings we disagree with? 
what's up with these purity testers that have decided that if you're not with them or on their side or using 100% the tactics that they wish or support or if they don't feel validated by you or they don't endorse you that you're somehow the worst person in the world and there's a whole shit ton of that going on and they'll protest and tell you that it's not true and they'll protest and say that you're over exaggerating and misrepresenting what they are about and they'll say that you deserve it you have it coming here's an example we scroll through eight years of your twitter feed and we found something that we found very 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 troubling and so now we'd like to put this out here and if you're this and you're that um it's weird being an activist how in the world can I be a, a cuck for feminists and a sexist example of white male privilege? It's possible. <laughs> An SJW cuck, whatever they call them, and a mansplaining... Uh, male whatever I mean I, I I'm they throw this stuff out all the time you can do a show and somebody will walk away depending on whatever baggage they dragged into the room and I mean I'm 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 both I'm I'm both sides of this of the scale I'm I run the extremes I'm both white and and black on this I'm both a and B on this I'm both yes and no on this and it just tells you that people are not freaking listening. They're not listening. <sighs> and I think there's a superiority complex that happens. Thank you, victim. Office credenza, Lily Shelf, Myra's letter. Office, let's see, was that upstairs? I think it was upstairs. I think they like to sit back and fold their arms and be righteous in the face of the sinners. Oh, they'll protest and say that's not what they're doing. This looks like an office, my friend. I thought that was backgammon for a second. And if you say that things are complicated, it's like this Nick Sandman kid who was at the protest and there was the Native American veteran Nathan Phillips and then there was the black Hebrew Israelites. I'm amazed at how many people who are liberals like myself, and I'm a hardcore, true blue liberal. All they wanted to talk about was this kid in the MAGA hat. <laughs> That's all they he bring up the black Hebrew Israelites or the fact that you know Nathan Phillips walked over there. That you're actually dealing with the facts of the story. You, you say, well, let's find out what happened, and they're like, no, 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 no. Anybody who would ever, ever make any excuses that anything else other than absolute, this guy was not a you're just an apologist for the magus. I can be like, what are, what are you talking about? When did we stop being a creatures of evidence? When did we, when did we stop trying to figure out what actually happened? It's not a cheat of our own value system and of righteousness or a just cause to know everything or to say that you know much of this stuff isn't either or a b yes no black and white. Sometimes there's just a lot of bad shit going on. Let's find out what that is. Let's honestly assess what it is. It's right in front so of me. Jesus Christ. Time. Thank you. But I should have believed her. <sighs> My dearest Sebastian, if you've received this letter, then I fear the worst has come to pass. It means that my investigation got too close to the truth. It means that you may never see me again. I'm sorry I kept it from you, but it was to put... I can't stand it. Now, if you say that reality is complex, they call you a centrist. And I'm like, look, I don't, I don't start at the center. I mean, I, right. I don't say that... She's always been right. Theodore uses my own guilt against me. Jesus Christ, stop talking. But guilt for what? It's their fault, not mine. They took everything from me. I didn't start any of this. But I'm gonna finish it. If you and say God, we're anything less than perfect, way. somehow you have uh, you've joined you've joined the enemy. I just don't get it. 
Uh, I have to watch more of this exposition. What? This is, uh, my hands are always cold. Always very, very cold. And so my wife, bless her, bought me oh, these little you. USB gloves that have a, uh, what happened? They plug into your computer. They have a little uh, switch on them and they warm your hands. And it's, I, I love them. I love these gloves. She brought you here. My hands and my feet always freezing. Oh, look, it's the woman I shot. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I tried to save her, but... No. I shot her. I shot her. Because I'm a the dumbass. The was superficial. She died from injuries sustained in a battle with those things. Damn it. So she did have Kevlar on. She didn't have to die like that. She was a good soldier. Haven't listened she to Graydon Square, Biddy. No. Am I missing out on something? And now she's dead. Let me ask you something, bro, while we're waiting on the exposition. It's all my fault. So I had this custom I made. I have an iPhone, right? I had this made. No, Sebastian. It's a little popper thingy. It's not your fault. They're not, they're, considering what they are, they're not very cheap to produce. Um, don't let him do produce. this to you. Even in mass, I don't get that much of a discount, but I've been thinking about making some and taking them on the road. You're you right. think people would go for that? Like, I'm that always looking for revenue opportunities. Um, this is what he wants. Opportunities. To make to, me God guilty. damn it, stop talking, Sebastian. But he's the one who did this. Not me. He's the guilty one. Okay. Uh, it's time to clean house. That's not the problem. What do you mean? I picked this Theodore straw, but it's... Shit. I think that they're... I found it a... Great. It's not quite right. Okay, I'll go... Okay. A few more... Th I get through this. Hang on. Messing with my that sounds and in here. Just to make sure I don't I require a conversation right. tree to trigger the next event. So I've been thinking I would. Uh, she knew Esmeralda. She's felt that's why. I try to make them available at tour stops, and I don't know if it's possible to make them available on the store. Is that a machine gun? Oh. Oh, feel I'm sorry, the power. Esmeralda. I'll make sure you didn't die for nothing. Full magazine, I'm going to hunt him down like the dog that he is. Assault rifle. This America, Jack. Founding fathers. They wanted us to have guns. And the good Lord above that protects us from all evil. He wants us to have guns. God and guns. That's what we want here in America. Anyway, I was thinking about trying to make these available. Um, but, you know, even in mass, I think they cost me five and a half bucks per. And so to make it worth everybody's while, I'm like, well, Jesus, you know, it's probably 12 bucks to... People pay 12 bucks for that. I guess they sell them for 10, 12, 15 bucks at the AT&T store. But, but it's custom made and they're really quality. I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm going to work on an option for everybody. And then uh, maybe Evolve Fish can uh, make that available on the store. You know, this is all just, I don't know. I'm just curious to see if the public would, would want that. I mean, would you pay 10, 12 bucks for something like that? And then, you know, if I'm if it's if they're being mailed, it's probably a few bucks in shipping. I guess you could ship them in little sleeves. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I've been thinking about it. But I went to, uh, went online, I found a reputable company, and I had this made, and I just thought it was really cool. That was really slick. And it's a good conversation starter. It doesn't have the thinking atheist text on it. It just has the icon, the thinking person icon. And then when you go and, you know, you lay it down, you just set it down. You know, you go to religious family member's house. And, oh, look, you just have it there. It's, it's not, it's not overt. You know, you're, not, you're not wearing a, a fuck Jesus t-shirt or whatever. That You just walk in and you just happen to have this. You lay your phone down. And then people will ask, um, hey, what is that? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the logo. Logo for what? The thinking atheist. That's the atheism A symbol. Atheist, really. And then we start to talk. So, um, a little bit of an initial investment to get, you know, a bulk of them made before I hit uh, the Texas. And, but I'm, I may call Evolve Fish and see, uh, see what's possible. So, uh, 
Thanks for the input. We'll see. But you guys think 12, I mean, people be insulted if I was like, James, if you, look, I, I have to sell. If I'm going to make any money back, I have to sell them for 12, and then there might be a few bucks in shipping. Do you think people would do that to be able to just have this? You know, I don't know. It's an option. I'll, uh, I'll buzz my people up to do ball fish and see what they think. Uh, my friends, I'm going to go and uh, socialize with the uh, guests that are made. They were up talking really, really late last night, so I'm assuming that they're just now starting to amble out of their bedrooms and toward the coffee pot. So I'm going to go be a good host. Thanks for spending the morning with me. Thanks for listening to me as I sort of, uh, I don't know, bend and ramble on a little bit. Do you enjoy that? I mean, I'd, I've seen some other gaming streams out there. Most of them, I, this sounds, I don't mean for this to sound egotistical because it's not how I mean it. Most of them are insufferable because the person who is playing, even if they're a, a good gamer, they're not really saying anything. And so I always think even, even when I'm playing a game, I'm trying to sort of, you know, articulate things take people on a journey and ask questions and engage in specific ways. It's almost like gaming and philosophy. Do you enjoy that? Does, does that work for you? Uh, you know, I, I hope so, because that's kind of my style and what I'm doing. I hope the day is good for you, and we'll uh, meet back here soon and uh, try Chapter 13 together. See you then.